My party's stand on several issues have convinced me that under the current leadership, it has all but abandoned its core conservative principles. I still cannot understand how a party that is supposed to defend free markets supports a small cartel that artificially increases the price of milk, chicken, and eggs for millions of Canadian consumers. More importantly, supply management has become one of the main stumbling blocks to an agreement with the, with the United States on NAFTA. Do we want to emphasize our ethnic and religious differences and exploit them to buy votes as the Liberals are doing? Or emphasize what unite us and the values that can guarantee social cohesion? Just like in other Western societies, grappling with this issue, a large number of Canadians, and certainly a vast majority of conservatives, are worried that we are heading in the wrong direction. But it is not politically correct to raise such questions. Instead of leading the debate and pushing back against all the unfair accusation, Andrew Scheer chose to avoid the controversy. He and several of my colleagues disavowed me. I have come to realize over the past year that this party is too intellectually and morally corrupt to be reformed. If we want conservative principles to win the battle of ideas, we have to defend them openly with passion and with conviction. That is what I want to do. And this is why, as of today, I'm no longer a member of the Conservative Party of Canada. I want to do politics differently. The plan is to um, be able, in the next future, to have a new party that will promote conservative values, that will fight for Canadians who want real change in, that, in this country. So answering your question, I will have some discussion with people all across the country in the next couple of weeks. And uh, the goal is to have a new party that will represent them.